Welcome back to Cheddar Shakers. Well, self-help books commonly suggest the power of positive thinking. It takes what it takes. A new book from Trevor Moad examines the benefits of neutral thinking. For more on what this means is Trevor Moad. He is a mental conditioning expert and advisor to top athletes. And he joins us now. What is it? What is What does it take? Well, it, it's interesting. I think really behavior is probably the defining characteristic of what makes a great athlete. Not emotion, not feeling, not even aptitude. I think average people become average through average behavior. I think great people become great through great behavior. So you're, you're, take Russell Wilson, for example. He's the highest paid athlete right now in the history of football, $36 million a year. Um, is he a client of yours? He's a client of mine. Okay. We've been together for uh, 10 years now. Uh -huh. And we also have a business, a uh, B2C business called Limitless Minds, working in the corporate field, training neutral thinking, training the mind, training all those different types of things. Um, way before he was ever good, he did all the things that a really good football player does. And even though he's only 5 feet 10 inches, um, his, his behavior proceeds to success. I think that's probably the first thing. I think secondly, the way you think, learning how to be less negative is by far more powerful than being more positive. And I think so many uh, self-help books in, in, in the industry is all about the power of positive thinking and meditation. We don't teach that at all. We found that all the data skews that negative thinking is almost a multiple of four to seven times more powerful than positive thinking. So if you can minimize negativity, you don't have to increase positivity. It's so interesting because I remember a key quote from Michael Phelps, right? Someone who's been yeah. very outspoken yeah. about his own mental health. And he said he was taught that any time he walked through a door, he would say something positive about himself to not be dragged down by those negative Thoughts. Does that fall into the bucket of neutral thinking? Well, um, first of all, there's kind of two categories. There's mental health, which Phelps was talking about, then there's sort of mental performance, which is really like, how do you get great people greater? And my belief is you don't need to be sick to get better. So I spend the vast majority of my time helping really good organizations. And, and, and it's crazy. People think of the sports world, you know, just kind of as fun and games, but it's an EBITDA-driven business. I mean, when, when, when you win, you're... Uh, you have an opportunity to stay and only 24% of our guys in the NFL even make it to a fourth year. So when you win, you get the advertisers and, and ultimately everything is sort of driven by your own success. But neutral thinking is the belief that the past is real, but it's not predictive. Mm. Positive thinking always connects an outcome. So if something bad happens, I got to pretend it didn't happen and immediately go to something good happening. Mm. Neutral thinking is, hey, you know what? We didn't have a good quarter. We didn't have a good half. We didn't have a good year. But what happens next is based upon what we do, not how we feel about it. Give us one lesson that our viewers can take away yeah. before they read the book. Well, be very mindful of what you say out loud. When you say something out loud, it's 10 times more powerful than when you think it. And if it's negative, it's a multiple of four to seven times. So if I say something out loud and it's negative, it's 40 to 70 times more powerful than if I just didn't say it at all. One of the first things you can do is stop saying stupid things out loud. And never, you, you could never be positive, and if you learn to be less negative, it could change your life. Okay, so other than Russell Wilson, who are some of the big time athletes that you work with? Well, over the years, I've worked with the Jacksonville Jaguars, Miami Dolphins, Alabama football, Florida State football, Michigan football, Texas football, Georgia football, U.S. Army Special Operations Command, and a number of Fortune 500 companies now like Johnson & Johnson and Horizon Pharmaceuticals and Starbucks. So, uh, you know, my dad was one of the original authors of Chicken Soup for the Soul, so I've been in this industry for a long time. So, uh, been a lot of people, but that just means I'm getting old. All right, Trevor Moad. Was that a negative thought? Uh, you know what? I'm uh, embracing the fact it was a neutral thought. <laughs> Getting <laughs> okay, old. I had, to check, <laughs> had to fact check there. Uh, it's great to have you. Thank you, guys. Trevor's author of It Takes What It Takes on sale February 4th.